in the realm of why didn't you watch this sooner, we both just finished watching Krampus for the first time. I bought Krampus two months ago, I think. I don't think it was that long ago, but it was a bit about a month. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, it, it, to me, it, it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I give it about a seven out of ten. I'd probably agree with that. Yeah. Um, it's uneven. True. Some of it's kind of cutesy, and some of it's kind of creepy, and. Yeah. Very true. It seems to want to be Gremlins and It at the same time. It was. Uh, it reminded me of quite a few different movies. Which I think is intentional. But it was it was good. I'd like to have seen more about the lore on Krampus. More about what this thing is. Yeah, I didn't go into that at all. But I think they they kind of left it open. Now, uh, spoilers for people who haven't seen it. Um, having just watched it, we take the ending differently. Yeah. My take on it is that at the end they're 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 trapped in the snow globe. I don't think they're trapped. There are so many snow globes, so I think it's more maybe like um, transportation or something. So Krampus has all these snow globes so he can keep an eye on families. And if they're not behaving, he can visit that snow globe and it like takes them. Kind of like in the Santa Claus movies, how they have the snow globe that has their house in it. They're not trapped in that snow globe. It's just used to get to that house. So I I saw it as similar. It was yeah. creative. Um, I thought some of the, uh, it, it again it was just kind of strange. Like the, I wanted more time with the gingerbread men. <laughs> the gingerbread men were delightful, and I I really wanted more time with the gingerbread men. And and the teddy bear was cute. With the green blood and all that. That was weird. The green blood kind of threw me off a bit. And taking his eye out. That was gross. Both of us just went for that one. Yeah, the uh, the clown music box thing. Oh, that's or creepy. With the, the truck, that one, or like lit when it was a clown? no, when it was the giant clown. Yeah, that was and just the dad's reaction of oh, of course, <laughs> yeah, of course, right, yeah, this is the way it's gonna go. Um, you could pick out the characters in this movie that were supposed to be. The same characters as in the movie Christmas Vacation. Yes. There's a lot of Christmas Vacation in this. There's a lot of gremlins in this. Um, Christmas Carol, I guess, to some extent. Tiny bit, yeah. I also, like, the style of it was like Labyrinth or Mirror Mirror. I do wonder what uh, Tim Burton would have done with this. Make it awesome. It would have been darker. Would have been night the whole movie. If it was Tim Burton, it would have been night the whole movie. And the colors would be different. More contrast. Yeah. And Johnny Depp would have been the dad. I don't know. Or the Krampus. That could be. Or one of the elves. I was I was worried, and again, I, I stayed away from tra- trailer. Uh, like, other than the trailers, I stayed away from spoilers for this and everything. This is, this is how dedicated I, I am to nothing. avoiding spoilers. This that. movie came out two years ago, and I had nothing to do with it. Um, I, I liked the Krampus itself. I thought it was well created. It, it didn't look CGI. It didn't look overly fake. It reminded me, like you said, Dark Crystal. Yeah. It was a very Dark Crystal feel to it when the elves showed up. Yes. And then the Krampus itself. So there was some Dark Crystal in this. There was definitely some Labyrinth in this as well. Oh, giggling. Sounded just like Labyrinth. And the baby, sounds. when they took the baby. that's That felt very yeah. Labyrinth. Yeah, that's what They're I'm at like, the window. Labyrinth. They're at the window with the baby. You know, and they're seeing the baby go. I'm like, yeah, that is that is that is very Labyrinth. Um, so, yeah, it was a fun movie. Yeah. No movie we were trying to guess what would happen. Yes. Like, we were trying to figure out what was going to happen. <laughs> like, they wouldn't really... We, were, we weren't thinking they would actually all die. No. We wouldn't actually see them again. My my whole thing with a movie is I, I try to figure out right at the start, okay, so when somebody dies, is it for good? And at the start of this, I thought, no, there's too many kids, there's a baby, it's not going to be for good. This isn't going to be a permanent death. It's going to be something else. So they definitely went with something else. 
Uh, we never did see what was under the snow. No. But it could have been that clown snake thingy. It could have been. But it, it could have been something completely different, too. Could have been. We also You couldn't really see what was in that little jack-in-the-box thing with the, when the girl was under the truck. Yeah. Yeah, they leave it to your imagination. It's all a bunch of creepy toys. I thought... But I, I thought it was very well done. And... Thankfully, it hasn't turned into like Krampus two, Krampus three, Krampus four. Yeah, this is so obnoxious. So it didn't it didn't make Saw type money where they can just make tons of. And stupid, they could too, though. They could, they could. Here's this, another family the, of pricks. It, yeah. How are these guys gonna die? How it ends, they definitely leave it really open, and since yeah. they don't go into any of the backstory or the lore of Krampus. They and and the funny thing is, they have the the grandmother telling the story. And they have it all beautifully animated. And if the entire movie was that, I think you'd have a great movie. That would be cool. I think you can make a really, really great like stop, stop motion. motion, that kind of thing. I think you can make a really great movie that way. I think yeah. that would be really enjoyable. I really like stop motion, though. The, but they it wasn't just totally stop, stop motion. It was also that shadow animation. Absolutely. Which is really cool, too. So it was kind of like uh, Coraline. Yeah, I, I really... I, I think that's a movie my kids refuse to watch. Coraline's fantastic. I had them watch it once. They will not watch it ag again. Coraline is fantastic. I have it if you ever want to watch it. That's a great movie. The kids refuse um, to. And and it it's like like nine. Nine's a really good I one too. I love nine. Oh my gosh. The boys thankfully really like that movie. Because yeah, nine's really good too. Kind of a ton of times. That's a fun movie. I haven't watched that in a couple of years. No. Malachi, that was one of those that Malachi was obsessed with for a while. I showed him that one, and he thought that was just, like, the greatest. Yeah, it's and very, very well it done. Once a week. It's very, very well done. Um, and this, this movie, the animated part, sort of reminded me of that, too. Yeah. And how it's done. It's yes, very, yeah. very, very dark, very um, unique, uh, creates a world of its own, and, and I, I really enjoyed it. I do wish we'd have more time with the grandmother character. I liked her, yeah. There was too much time spent with Packer slash Eddie and not enough time with Grandma. Um, I, he's Packer from Office Space. Uh, he, his character was yeah. Eddie from, from Christmas Vacation. There's not really a big difference, uh, except he had guns. I can't imagine Eddie with guns. But anyways, oh, um, yeah, it, it, I would like to have seen less of him and more of the grandmother. Because she knew what was going on seemingly from the start and I know, didn't say anything. I was anything. really surprised that they didn't like actually talk to her and ask her things and, you know other than her telling the story and even then they're like oh we don't believe in that and i'm thinking really after what you've seen tonight you're not going to give That's just a thought. little bit you, of a belief to it just attacked you from under the stove no and you're just like yeah that's a bunch of crap you know like like people are, are dead everywhere just listen to the old lady just for a second just listen to her anyways uh fun movie uh, I recommend it, so we agree on the 7 out of 10? Yeah, I think so. It's not a lot to argue about here. It's not like, you know, any of the other movies we've watched, really? Well, other than Star Wars, we didn't no. disagree on Star Wars either. No, there were just little things that we were just like, wait, what? You know, like they had a bunch of 2x8s. Yeah. And a nail gun. Yeah, and, and she said, where, where did they get all the 2x8s? And I said, they're in the kitchen next to the rebar. So this has kind of become a thing now. Yes. That anytime something in a movie doesn't make sense, we go, gun. rebar. The, a nail gun? The na well, I can kind of believe that you'll have a nail gun in your house, but the 2 by 8s like no, that. It would be like in your back shed. We would have a nail gun. You might. Let alone a ton of 2 by 8s You might. No. Did you see that attic? They had all kinds of crap up there. You might. Not the 2 by 8s but you'd have you'd have the nail gun. We should get a nail gun. That'd be great. I'll show Malachi how to use it. Oh, see, the kids, right? <laughs> Here, kids, don't do this. Oh my gosh, how much would he love that? Oh, oh that's frightening. That's that. That it's would be terrifying. Thought. That would be terrifying. It's a really scary thought. Thanks. It thanks, is. Nate Rivers, no. no problem. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I honestly, for people who aren't in the Christmas spirit, I would put this movie on the list. This Shannon kind of really liked it, like, in the first five minutes. This is the best Christmas movie ever. Because it shows how families don't get along. 
And when when the kids like, well, why are we hanging out with these people? We don't like these people. I'm like, cause they're family. No, no, they make us miserable. We why do we do this what every we have year? In common. Which I, I heard that quote, and I'm like, no, that's that's stupid. That's that's not what happens at Christmas. Hmm. You just try not to kill people until they're gone. It's basically how Christmas works. When you've got the extended family and the big families, mm -hmm. that's how it was with me. I mean, we had we had some big family Christmases where, yeah, there was some contentious moments. We never did anything like that. And the moment I had, I told you with my with my cousin, that was Christmas. <laughs> when I told him I was going to slam his head into the concrete floor if he didn't leave the room. Oh right. Yeah. And yeah. and it was, I had I had rightfully told him this. This wasn't bullying. This was, I just saw what you did. Uh, she's a lot smaller than you. I'm not. How about you just bug her off? You're lucky it's Christmas. And and that was Christmas. Yeah, we didn't have anything like that. Oh, yeah, no, we did. We did. We only ever once had Christmas where we went to family's house, and I thought it was awesome. Or, you know, there were the, so, the, the Christmases that, where my dad was hungover. That was fun. Or when my dad didn't have money to drink. That was fun. That was That was some tremendous fun. I'm sure. You know, you'd get up and you'd be like, oh, I can't make any noise because Dad's really cranky. And then it just, you know, it, it got uglier from there. So this movie really hit home for me. I was like, wow. That's that's awesome. That's fun. Because that's how, that's, that's kind of how I remember Christmas. Not everybody remembers Christmas as this wonderful warm time with family eating popcorn and watching movies around a fire. For well, some people it's just do that, for but... some people it's just trying not to stab people in your immediate vicinity and then rewarding yourself with alcohol when they leave <laughs> cuz you avoided going to jail for one more year. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Nobody's dead. Oh goodness. It's true. So yeah, uh, this this is a movie for people who don't like Christmas. And yet it's it's a Christmas movie. It is definitely a Christmas movie. Yeah, it's fun. That'll get added right underneath The Shining as one of my favorite Christmas movies. The Shining is a Christmas movie. Whatever. It is. Whatever. There's no part of The Shining that's not a Christmas movie. There's snow, there's family, there's love, there's bonding, and there's a happy ending to it. And the father helps them to get there reinforces the bond of mother and son there's even a miracle there's even a miracle you know when when the when the cook shows up to hey anybody oh, here no. No, and no. then there's yeah, a miracle no. because thanks to him there's a snow cat they can use yeah no yeah no absolutely no yeah merry christmas it should end with, may God bless us, everyone, as they're driving away on the snowcat. And then you just see Jack. Be great. I think that would be awesome. No. Yes. You could do that Jane Christmas Bells, Ding Christmas Bells, Ring no. Christmas Bells. They could use no. that song. It's called Carol of the Bells. Right. Ring Christmas Bells, Ding Christmas it's Bells, Jane Christmas goes. Bells. It kind of is. But it's not. We like Christmas bells. You like no, Christmas bells. No, that's not how the song goes. It is when I sing it. I know that's how you sing it. <laughs> it's fun singing it that way. Because then you just the make up words that rhyme with ring and say the Christmas bells. And then those are the lyrics. But that's not the lyrics. There's already lyrics. It's fine. Oh, shit. Well, for years, I would hear it only on commercials around Christmas. And then I wouldn't know what it was. So I just Carol of the Bells. I just made up my own lyrics for it because whatever, I never heard it very often. Anyways, it's fine. Oh, At least I never made a Krampus show up, and I totally could have. I totally could have. I'm sure you could. I could have lost my faith in the whole thing and said, "That's it. I want them all to go. I am done." Family finito. I don't want cranberry sauce. I am I like done. cranberry sauce. Don't you start. I always make it with the cinnamon and cloves in it. That's the best. But then it still tastes like cranberries. It's fantastic. Ugh. And it smells really nice too if you put the spices no. in it. 
No. Yeah, they make candles that smell like that, so it has to smell good. It smells so good they make candles. Okay. Kind of make me sick. A little bit. Well, then Gabriel and I and Adelaide will we eat all the cranberries. You go right on ahead. My mother Unless likes it... cranberries. Because they're fantastic. Unless no. you have weird can shape. Yeah. Cranberries is weird. Yeah. It doesn't taste the same. No. That's like cranberry flavored jello. It, I think that's the idea. Yeah. But it looks like it can. It's so weird. Yeah. It's so. And weird. it just sort of falls over. Just sort of. And, just and the yeah. sound of it. Yeah, the <laughs> noise. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that's, I like that's actual cranberry. Tradition of Christmas right there. No. It's the essence of Christmas. I remember the first time I saw one of those, just one of those. Wait, and that's what you eat for Christmas? Like, aren't you supposed to make have all the nice food on Christmas and you're eating that? Not all of it. You want, it has to be like life. There's there's a bucket of cranberries waiting for any of us somewhere. So everything can be all turkey and gravy and everything's awesome and then pff, bucket of cranberries just happens. But cranberries are delicious. No, they're not. Yes, they are. You've been paid off by the Cranberry Council, young lady. That's what's happened. Big cranberries got to you, haven't they? You know they Scratch grow your neck if they have. Oh, they you, have. Whatever. You know they grow the cranberries here, right? See? Big cranberry. It's a big racket. They're local berries. Doesn't make it a big... Doesn't make it any less of a big racket. They're yummy. How would it be a They're big cranberries. racket? They're just made on farms. Yeah, and then you have mega they farms, and farms. farms are one step there's towards no communism. There's no mega farms here. And then there's, there's, but they farms, grow them in Langley. but then they get communal, and that's communism. But no, it's that's what happens. No, it's not. It does. No, you're just being stupid now. No, that's what happens. No. I don't believe in cranberries. You don't believe in them. No. It doesn't really matter if you believe in them or not. I they deny exist. them. I deny them. They're delicious. They're not. They are. They're not. And they're fun when you cook them. They all go pop, 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 pop as they're cooking. Pop, pop, That's because they're trying to escape. No, they're exploding. It's probably larva in there. It's probably the larva exploding. It's gross. Oh, Shannon. All right. So there's a review for Krampus. With some bonus footage in there. Uh, There's yeah. always bonus footage. Usually. Bonus, that's what sure. we'll call that's it. Sure, that's what that's it is. That's what we'll call it. Bonus footage. Bonus. There's your, your movie review and your bonus coverage. Uh, Krampus. Um, and, and in terms of the holidays, um, on my main channel, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a, uh, some kind of a live stream on Christmas. Uh, for this channel, I do need to start doing live streams. Oh, 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 buckle lanch. I'm going to do one on this channel. I'm going to do one on this channel as well. I'll do one on the hockey channel first. I'll do one on this channel as well. So for Two people, of them? not a, no, no, not the same day. Oh, okay, not I the same that's what day. You're saying. No. What we just gonna set up the computer and like side of the room? No, 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 not the same day. Not the same day. Okay. But I've got enough subscribers on this channel now that I can do a, a live stream. Okay, like later in the week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Like Boxing Day. So we'll do the one on Christmas on the on the hockey channel and one on this one on Boxing Day. Okay. If you don't feel like doing it, I'll do it myself. It's fine. It's up to you, Chipmunk. Oh. It's so reticulated. I'm going to bite you if you do that again. <laughs> you test me. <laughs> but you see, your your glasses... Don't. Don't start that. No. <laughs> don't start but they don't, it's just perfect. shut your mouth See, now. That, no, <laughs> no farther. Shh. There, it's, don't. <laughs> okay, can this be done now? You're being dumb. No. All right. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through and you happen upon this review. <laughs> if you happen upon it, sorry. Watch, watch <laughs> Krampus. Uh, watch it a couple of times, maybe. This does. I don't know how re rewatchable this is. I, th I will rewatch it. I, would I don't imagine. think watching again we won't be so. There yeah, a few it parts that we were just kind of. It did not like have the happened. jump scares that I expected. I know. I was actually happy about that. I will say yes, that if, I hate jump scares. if you're not a fan of jump scares, only one. this movie. Yes. Yeah. 
That was good. So there you go. To me, a scary movie doesn't have a ton of jump scares because no. being jump scared isn't funny. It isn't scary. It's um, annoying. It's just like slapstick doesn't make a movie funnier. No. It can make it stupid. All right. On that note, thank you guys for watching. 7 out of 10 for both of us. Let me know your rankings in the uh, comment section below if you have a rating for this movie. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again later.